they did a show where uh, Wojo falls in love with a hooker. Falls for a hooker, let's put it this way. And his way of keeping her from doing her trade is to constantly bust the entire house. So you have all these ladies standing around in a victimless crime as far as Barney is concerned, but he doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't want to put the kibosh on. You know, eventually he has a scene, I believe, where he says, come on now, we can't, we got important things to worry about. Uh, and eventually he confronts the girl and asks her for a date, to which she says, okay, just like everybody else, 50 bucks. That was <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> 50 bucks, which is, of course, devastating to him. And we have, at the end of the show, and he finally lets them all go, this father-son talk about how you, can, you can't control other people's behavior. You can only control your own and how you react to it. And you have to decide how you feel about it and react that way and go about your life. Uh, very paternal, you know, and he, he's really destroyed by this whole thing. And as he walks out the door, he turns to me and says, by the way, Bonnie, can you lend me 50 bucks till payday? Which of course was the, where the entire show was going to that line. At which point, the network said, you can't say that line. Whoa, the entire show is building up to this last line at the, you know, before he walks out the door. So they have this big, and now we have started to shoot the show. And they're in the office, and they're fighting over whether he can say this line or not. Now this is only about, the seventh show, eighth show, fifth. fifth, fifth, even earlier, wasn't on the air. We weren't, we we didn't have big numbers. We weren't star, you know. We were really just clawing our way onto the schedule. And the network, you can't say that. Why not? Well, that means he's going to go with the girl. And then he said, "Very astute of you. You figured it out. How about that? I'm sure the audience will get that message too." Well, you can't, you know. Well, they were, they're arguing upstairs and we're shooting and we finally get to the last scene. The director calls up and says, Danny, what do we do? I mean, I, could you give me a different line? How would the show would have just petered out if he just walked out? Danny says, shoot it. Hangs up, turns to the network and says, I'm shooting it the way I wrote it. It's up to you if you put it on the air. But if you don't, I'm not going to make any more. I mean, can you imagine the brass? This is not a hit show. This is a fledgling. And he had the guts to say, this is, we're shooting our shows the way we wrote them. This is 1970s, you know, this is not today where, uh, you know, Broadway Empire has nude scenes, uh, Boardwalk Empire, you know, you, you, this was, even network today is. And we shot it. Uh, two, two affiliates did not, sh would not show it because it was released, believe it or not, with an X rating. They, in the beginning of the show, there was an X and, and the card said, material may be unsuitable for whatever, I don't know, however they word that. And that's the way it was shown. Now, needless to say, it got into the press that there was a, an episode that was not gonna be shown in two places and they were gonna show with an X, which, I don't have to tell you, did wonders for the rating. <laughs> but it was, it was uh, the guts on that man to say this is what we're doing and this is the way we're gonna do it. 
Uh, and that was the same with Max. That was that. Uh, and that was really the turning point that all of a sudden people were turn, tuning in the show to, to see what we were going to do next. <laughs>